Good day, my name is Nelson. Welcome to the Poetic Fingers. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the answer to this question of why is there such a thing as a 1% or the 1%? Because let's let's put this quite frankly, they exist. And I, I, I really don't agree. I really don't fancy the idea that some people have the excesses of life in the positive spectrum of it, while the majority are living in poor. You get what I'm saying? They're living at a very detriment. They're living below the ground, if I want to say that. But then, why does this exist in the first place? Because if we look into the story of creation from various angles, humanity was created equal. We're created with the, we're created with equilibrium, so to say. We're created to support each other, to have companions, to assist us with surviving and populating the earth. But then, over the course of human history, We've gotten to the point whereby there has to be a particular group of people that are up here ruling the particular group of people that are down here. Now, why does this exist? We've asked that question multiple times in this video already. So why don't we just write into dive into the answer? Well, the primary question, the, the basic answer is ourselves. And in my previous video, we, we talked about a different topic that was similar to this. But then we're talking about this from a different angle. Why does a one percent exist? Because humanity, hum humans in general, are selfish creatures. We have the desire to collect, to gain, to acquire, but giving is something that is difficult. And because if every single one of us is going for the take, there's going to be chaos. There's going to be disorganization. There's going to be a lot of troubles. And this has happened several times in history whereby people revolt or they fight over land, property, possessions. It happened multiple times. It has led to the greatest wars that humanity has recorded in its history. And it's not something that it's not something to be proud of. But that's why the one percent exists. The one percent exists to serve as a whip that keeps us in correction. The 1% exists in order to keep everything organized. Because when there's when power is centered in a particular position, it can easily be, I wouldn't say easily, but it, it can be dispersed, it can be directed, it can be channeled. If power is spread all over, then there is no sense of organization, there is no sense of direction. And when there is the absence of those two things, there's going to be chaos. So the 1% exists primarily to serve as the head a direct organization. Organization of what, you might ask? Organization of the natural flow of resources. Or let me reiterate, the flow of natural resources. The resources that govern life, such as food, such as healthcare, such as security, such as luxury in itself. So they, they, they serve as the river they serve as the, the, the flu that sends these resources to the rest of us. If humanity was to find itself in a situation whereby every single person has equal right to these resources, definitely there's going to be chaos because every single person is going to want to take it for themselves. Now, you're going to argue not all humans are the same. Not everybody wants to rule the world and stuff like that. But the simple truth is majority of people will want to do that particular thing now we've had surveys whereby you ask someone there's there's there's, there's the moral question of you had a red button and you clicked on it and every time you clicked on it you get 10 million dollars but every time you get that 10 million dollars one random person dies someone you don't know dies now you might say you, you you've we, we've seen multiple videos about it and we're like <laughs> it's it's a, it's more of a joke but then it's a moral question for you to be comfortable with getting money in exchange for someone's life that goes a long way ensuring that humanity we humans we we are we're quite despicable if you might use that word that is why the one percent exists the 1% is the royal family of humanity.
they are the ones that have the entire power not really the entire power but they have the majority of power because they control the resources and because they control these resources they can in a way maintain a level of organization a level of peace a level of unity because when everyone is looking at them they can control things but then because they are still humans they tend to abuse this authority and what the, the one person that I'm, I'm referring to here is not completely the rich it's not really the rich the one percent i'm referring to are political leaders i'm referring to religious leaders i'm referring to business leaders these are the ones that are in charge of this that they're the ones in authority they are the ones in the one percent so there's they're the ones with the power and because these ones exist we ex we experience a level of peace and organization but in a way they are still our problem so that's just um, a runabout on this particular question of why does the 1% exist? I'd like to know what your opinion is. I'd like you to tell me what you think in the comment section. And um, if you like this video, be you want me to make more videos like this, discussing crucial topics like this, and um, diving into answers that question us, that, that require questioning rather, why don't you subscribe to this channel? See you in the next video.